Hello, Grace Fellowship. In this session, I want to talk to you about how we can trust God in the midst of this pandemic with our finances. So if you're concerned about money, income, the future, what this means to the stock market, how um, your job may not be uh, stable, uh, know that God is in control and we can trust him. So first we need to replace fear with wor and worry of the unknown by trusting God and his faithfulness. So he is faithful. Hebrews 13, five reminds us that to keep our lives free from the love of money and be content with what we have for he has promised he will never leave us nor forsake us. So we have a God who is faithful. Secondly, we need to replace worry with worship. God knows what we need and he tells us to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added to us. Everything that we need to seek him and to serve his kingdom and his purposes, he will provide. And third, replace worrying about tomorrow with living and working and serving others today. So we need to be wise about planning. We need to be prudent in how we go about our lives, but we also don't need to um, hoard. We don't need to fear or be frozen in, in fear today about tomorrow because Matthew 6, 25, 34 uh, tells us that um, not to worry. We can't even add an hour to our lives by worrying about something. And so I want to encourage you to meditate on Matthew 6, 25 through 34 during this time. It'll greatly encourage you. And he specifically addresses worrying about money and the impact that it has. And it also says not to worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will take care of itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So live in the moment today, live and serve and seek to worship him and stay in the word. Uh, that will greatly help you during this time to know God's presence, uh, to know, have wisdom and to continue forward as we go day by day, as things constantly change around us, there's one thing that doesn't change and that is our Lord and savior. He is the same today, yesterday and forever. And he will never leave us nor forsake us.